This is the Vladimir Putin show, and it gets slicker by the year. Russia's president has been in power so long, he's had plenty of practice. At one point, we were told two and a half thousand calls were coming in every minute. They were all screened, nothing too challenging. But there is a recession here, and Russians are suffering. So Mr. Putin fielded complaints over high prices, new taxes, and from this fish factory where workers hadn't been paid for months. By the end of the show, their boss was facing criminal charges. There was no questioning his foreign policy, though, including Russian airstrikes in Syria. Mr. Putin underlined the need for peace talks there, and he was less combative on Russia's relationship with the West, too. There was more talk of international partners in this year's phone-in than of enemies. So it looks like everyone here is very pleased with how things went this year. President Putin handled questions for well over three hours on everything from the economy to his personal life. But of course, all of this was extremely carefully planned and very carefully choreographed. But after the live show, we got our own rare chance to put a question. This month, the Panama Papers suggested Mr. Putin's own friends were funneling hundreds of millions of dollars offshore. In the call-in, he called that information leak an American conspiracy. I just wanted to ask you why you're so sure that criticism of Russia, including the revelations in the Panama Papers recently, is some kind of plot against the country. We don't think it's a plot. I don't say that. I think it's a deliberate information attack. Why? because none of Russia's leaders are on those lists. But there's a desire to pin this problem on us. And I asked about this woman. The Ukrainian pilot Nadia Savchenko was imprisoned here after what the West calls a show trial. She's now on hunger strike demanding her release. So is Mr. Putin prepared to let her go? For the first time, he admitted that talks with Kiev are underway. But you can't rush such things, Mr. Putin told me. On set, staff are already posing as President Putin. His own image as the man with all the answers, fixed for another year. Sarah Rainsford, BBC News, Moscow.